Somebody move the coffee table out here. Sam, I'm just redecorating. <laughs> what are you so smiley about? Huh? Don't even think about it. That's what he's doing. Told you. Told you. Get down, Ben. Maybe a better time. He knows better. <laughs> hey Ben, like this. He's like, that sure is a big TV and put all my hands all over, but you're not going to, are you? Alright, well maybe we should, uh, what do you want me to put on, Ben? Backyard again? Is that your backyard again sign? Nope, oh, didn't realize it was on already. Okay, that means that I want this to be backyard again. Anyways, we're getting ready to do the Q&A and wait for Smith to get back. She don't drink a whole lot. I drink like 5,000 times more than she does. Um, so anyways, she's going to get some beer to drink and then we are going to do the Q&A. Um, so anyways, looking forward to it. Got some really great questions to answer. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay. Alright, Yeah, it's already going. Alright, ready? Okay, so Shmumpkin 2 wants to know, have you ever broken a bone and what is your biggest fear? I have never broken a bone. Uh, I sprained my ankle once playing football. Uh, years ago, I was probably like less than 12, I don't really know. Huh? What? You're not very athletic, so it was like... No, I'm not very athletic. I mean, look at me. I'm not a small guy, so... Anyways, um, and what is my biggest fear? Um, probably, it'd be losing my son. If something happened to my son, that'd be my biggest fear. So you're supposed to be... I, well, I can't... I that, my biggest fear, I mean, if you're gone, you're gone. But I mean, if Ben... <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, you, I mean, would you rather have me gone or Ben? You. Okay, there we go. second. There. See? Okay, yeah. uh, so the Mystery Girl 34 wants to know what's... Now, you need to turn to say it because I, they can't okay. probably hear you. The Mystery Girl 34 <laughs> wants to know uh, what's Ben's middle name and when's his birthday. Um, Ben's middle name is Scott and his birthday is 213. What? Why am I reading them out loud if you're looking at them? Well, I can, but it, I just figured you, I could let you into something. Just okay, so ask me the questions. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? All right. Okay, uh, Cheeky Chickenhead wants to know, what advice would you give people starting on YouTube, and where did you meet me? Um, where did you meet you or me? No, I'm just teasing. Um, the only advice I can give to people starting out on YouTube would be um, just community. Um, if somebody's coming over watching your videos, try to go over and watch their videos, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment. That way there's some kind of communication back and forth. Um, community, community, community is the big thing. Um, because uh, the only people, what am I trying to say here? Um, if people don't watch other people's videos and comments, then there's nothing really going on. You've got to support other people to get support. So that's just basically how it works, you know? Um, and then what else was it? Uh, where did you where, meet where Sam? You meet I met Sam in a, in a hospital. We'll go more with that later. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, hey, that's Mike. Wants to know is Ben going to have a brother or a sister? Yes, eventually. I can't tell you when, huh? He will. Not for a while. Today it's going to be a while before it happens, but yeah. Yeah, we got to get some while. stuff straightened out first. So, all right. Um, next question. New Age Videos wants to know in ten years where do you see yourself? In 10 years, where do I see myself? Man, hopefully rich and famous. Um, He's got big pipe dreams. <laughs> what, smoking crack dreams? What are you trying to say? Yeah. No, smoking crack won't get you rich and famous, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do I see? I don't know. I mean, hopefully by then we'll be in a different house. Um, you better be. <laughs> yeah, well, Samantha won't be around if we're not, so. Um, and hopefully, well, in 10 years, definitely want to have a, at least another kid or two. At least, right? 
one, if not two. Yeah, one, if not two, in ten years. And hopefully, we'll have a lot of our debt paid off. And, um, oh, you better in ten years. You used to be, used to be, used to be I'm going to have student loan debt forever, the day I for like 30 ben, years. She'll be ben, dead, and still, I'll have to pay for ben the rest and of the loan. his siblings loans, so. are going to be paying off my student loan yeah, debt. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways. Um, hopefully we'll have some debt paid off and we'll have another couple kids. That's basically the answer. All right, let's um, move on. Tucker Zone wants to know how long have you been a mechanic. I'm, I'm supposing he means tire guy. Yeah, uh, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a tire guy. I've been working at my current place of employment um, since '02. So what are we talking? Nine, nine years now. And I actually have another year and a half because when I was 15 and a half, I actually started there. So and I worked there until I was like. I don't know, 16 or 17. Um, so I got about another year and a half. So all together, I probably got 10 and a half years in what I'm doing now. So there you go. Okay. And uh, Jimmer 15? No, Geimer. Geimer. 15. No, I always say Geimer. It's Jimmer. I said it was I Jimmer. I know. I always screwed up. Because okay, you said before that you might I thought it was Geimer. I said it for like six months right. now. Okay, I'm right. sorry. I pay attention. She does. Okay. Um, how long did you and Samantha date before you got engaged in married? Ooh, this is a good one. I like this question. Actually, not very do long. Do you remember it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, do I remember? I'm just curious. We met in do February. I remember my eye color, so I wonder if you <laughs> You get hurt. You get hurt. <laughs> um, we met in February of 2005. And we were engaged by what, August? August of 05 and was married by December 16th of 05, so less than a year. And we're still together. So, thumbs up to that because she's hot. <laughs> okay. Hey, um, they say it, not me. I'm just um, Mr. Lion King? Yeah. Let's know when's the next one coming. I think I kind of already answered that. Probably uh, within the next couple years, probably, I would think. We're hoping for a couple of years. Yeah, a couple um, years, probably, so. We don't need one right now. Nah, this is just Ben's too much nuts. right now. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's a handful and a half. I mean, he looks great on camera, but when you really oh, get to know him, <laughs> he's a handful. Um, last call, Beam. Uh, hi, Fletch. Uh, he wants to know. Uh, do I have to read? So all no, questions? just so how the hell did? How the hell did Samantha wind up with you? She That's went, a funny story. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is a good one. Um, actually, Samantha, her. Um, I, I sister, got, her uh, sister. Fletch, Fletch, okay, all right, that's right. She, she's got. Gonna, I'll, I'll walk off camera. He's gonna Just move over a little bit. Okay. There you go. So, I met Jack the day that our niece was born, Cadence. She was born on February fifteenth, two thousand and five. Um, I was in the waiting room. No, wait. No, you was in. No, the I was in the actual room after my sister had given birth, and Jack showed up. Um, there was this call over the loudspeaker from the nurse saying, there's this guy here, he says he knows you, but he doesn't know your last name. And Carrie asked who, and she says his name's Jack. And Carrie's like, okay, yeah, that's Brandon, that's the kid's father. That's, that's, it's Brandon's friend, Jack. Okay, let him in. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, what a loser. He doesn't even know her last name. How can he not know her last name? So I'm all like, oh, he's going to be one of Brandon's friends. First off, Brandon's kind of a... Not a very good guy. He's person. not a very good guy. No, he's a good guy. He's just scum. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have no other way to describe Brandon. Um, so, J Jack comes in in his leather jacket with his hair all done, cleanly shaved, which he never does anymore. He's never cleanly shaved. Uh, it was false advertising. And, um, <laughs> Smelling all nice and looking all nice and smiling all nice and I had a little cough, I had a little tickle in my throat and I was coughing a lot. So he offers me a cough drop. And he, what did you say? You I say? said she was. She asked her dad first. Her dad was in the same room. She's like, Dad, do you got any cough drops? He's like, No. And I was like, I I just happened to have a little cough of my own and I had some in my left pocket. And I remember getting one out. I was like, Here you go, sweetie, like that. Yep. And that was in it. I hooked yeah, her. I just went like this. I went full in with my sixty bait or my sixty weight reel, <laughs> and, um, and I just reeled her in there. And, and, um, and the rest it of the took. Well, no, because it took. Well, Brandon. no, you're right. Yeah. No, because Brandon then, after Cadence came home, and I was coming from where I went to school back home every weekend to take care of my niece, to help take care of her, and Brandon kept trying 
so hard for three weeks straight to get me to go out with Jack. And he kept saying, come on, Jack's a good guy. Even my sister was like, Jack's a good guy. You should do it. He wants to go out with you. Come on. I kept saying, no, no, no. Because I'm thinking to myself, if he's a friend of Brandon's, he has to be a felon. <laughs> he has to have some illegitimate child somewhere that he's not taking care of. And he has to be a drunk. I got one out of it. <laughs> so, I... It, it worked out well. So like a, a, one month exactly to the day that my niece was born, we went on our first date. Yep. It's a double date. And then I got her in and I... It was a it double was, date yep. with my sister yeah, and Brandon. Yeah, it was sister and Brandon and then it was me and you. You had a double date. He took me to a... Crab a Crab Shack. A Crab Shack. I and don't you don't eat like seafood. <laughs> I hate seafood. I absolutely detest seafood. It was the funniest thing yeah. ever. I had literally, I could get fried chicken or grilled chicken. That was it. I'm like, I, I didn't know what chicken. she liked. I like seafood, so I was. His ass gets thirty dollars worth of crab legs. I'm sitting there like he's flinging it all on me. I'm like, oh god, this is a mistake. <laughs> you aren't so bad. That's, huh? You aren't bad. No, no, no. Hey, you're still here, right? So. Yeah. All right. Okay. Awesome. Um. The West Aussie wants to know if you were given the job of your dreams, what would it be? Ooh, job of my dreams would be a computer repair guy, definitely. Um, I love computers, so it would it would have to be working on computers all day long. That's that's what I love. That's my passion. I don't buy computers off the shelf. I I build my own, so that's my answer. Um. You already know. This Eighty-one answer. K Felon. I don't. Know. I have I don't no know. idea. Yeah, I'm sorry know. if I yeah. butchered that, dude. Um, do you think your son will have a personality? No, no, no. It doesn't say that. Do you think your son will have your personality? What do you think? Dear God, I hope not. No, he he does. He loves I to make people smile because I can he see it already. he's always like he's like trying to touch stuff to get a smile out of you without even doing it. So yeah, he does. He's got his he, personality. He's he's a pleaser. For he's sure. a person he's a, pleaser. Yeah. He's a ham. That's yep. what he is. Um, Exposing scams. Exposing scams. Let's know where did. You get that sign behind your left ear, total classic and so true. Is that this one right there? That one. Yep. I got that one at a um, Amish Amish flea market. Um, this woman was selling all these homemade signs. I actually have like three around the house, and I got that one. It was like two bucks. Well, you can't beat that, yeah. So, um, and it's and, true. Nobody notices and, what I do until I don't do it. And that thing it's hung true. up there for a good six months before Jack even realized it was there. Yeah. So. I don't pay attention to a whole lot of stuff. Unless it, unless she's hot, I don't pay attention. There's so much stuff. All right. Well, um, let's, uh, <laughs> Abba Zabba. 1979. Let's know what veggie do you hate the most? Oh, uh, man. Probably peas. I can't stand peas. And I don't like carrots that are cooked. I can eat a carrot out of the vegetable aisle or whatever, like, or what do you call it? The, veggie uh, tray. The bed, like a veggie tray. But if it's cooked, it tastes nasty. So there you go. Um, Xbox 360 fan site. So that's Tom. Tom. Wants to know, if you had to pick one game or film in the world, what would it be? Ooh, one game? Or film. Ooh. That's tough. Uh, one game multiplayer, one game single player, I guess I'd have to ask him. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I really don't know, huh? I'm going to be Donkey Kong. Oh, I don't know, man. You got me on that. I, I looked over the question, but that one kind of, that's got me stumped. One, oh, so I have to choose a movie or a game? Okay, if, this, if it's the film, probably be the first Godfather, part one. Or a game. Wait a minute, no, it says or film. It says game or film. I think you could do either or. I could do either or. Well, the game, if it was back in the day of the 1964, go 9, 64, 007. Because back when the graphics got better than what they were, oh, I played the crap out of that game. Oh, Paperboy. No, 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 no. I was never in a Nintendo Paperboy. game. Paperboy. Um, but it would probably be go 9, 007 for Nintendo 64 would be the game. If it was the movie, it would either be, oh, man. I don't know. I have to choose one though. Yeah, probably Matrix Reloaded because I I've seen that movie probably how many times do you think I watched I have no, I've it? Thirty times at least. Thirty times at least. So, anyways, that's that's my answer for that. Thanks, Tom. Okay, yeah. so the next one is from Lisa J. Moore. How old is Ben? Um, ben is what, sixteen months? Almost seventeen months right now. So he's getting close to a year and a half. Yeah. So. 
Berchay. Berchay. Okay. If you could have any kind of superpower, what would it be? Invincibility. Or no, no. Actually, in, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Invisibility. Nobody could see you. Because you know all the shit you'd get away with if you was invisible? I mean, seriously. You could rob a bank. Well, not really. Because, I mean, you could well, steal up on a girl if you wanted to. Because she'd be like, oh my god, a goose just touched me. What? Invisible man. Yeah, that's a dirty movie. Oh, man, that's yeah, he, he actually reads them. We won't talk about that. Anyway. Okay, and okay. then Domingo just asked him when I'm going to mechanic. Was she ready answered? Oh, yeah, so. So, 10 years. You know. So. I'm not a mechanic! Oh, wait. I'm a tire guy. Mechanic, yeah. Years. So, anyways, that's your QA. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it took us like, what, a month to get this video up? Go he's going to blame it on me. He's going to blame it on me. But what was it? Mar May 15th. So it's, yeah, it's been over just, what, a month, a month and a half almost? Yeah, month and a half. So anyways, there you go. There's your Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, answers to your questions. Uh, we had a good time doing it. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.